I am popping on to do a, well, it's not going to be a layout. I'm going to make some ornaments with some Minte goodies. Now, I have not touched this collection yet. I cannot wait. It's called Merry Little Christmas, and it's got the most beautiful artwork on it. We also have the set of Chippy's Decor Ornament Set. So I'm going to pick out whichever ones I might want to play with and I need to get them painted up. I'm just trying to figure out, do I want them all white? So my die cuts will pop off of them beautifully. I'm hedging towards doing that and maybe embossing the edges of them with a little bit of gold. So I think that's what my plan is. I'm going to just paint up a bunch of them in beautiful white Creativa paint, which means I better grab that. I'm going to paint up them up with this it goes on beautifully I'll let them dry and then I'm going to emboss edges then we can come back and decorate some together all right check-in time I went ahead and I have my chippies all painted up the white is so pretty on the chippies perfect color and then I hit the stars with a little bit of gold embossing powder for an extra bling and then the round ornaments, I just have a little bit of glittery goo on them for some bling that way. And I was looking at them and I love our six by eight paper pads. So I decided to pull out a couple of them with rather clean, like tone on tone backgrounds for the piece that you can see through the ornament. And then I will have a brighter shade on the back just to finish it off a little bit. Thought that would be fun. But yes, I'm always smitten, just absolutely smitten with the six by eight paper pads. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out all my bits and backings for the rest of my ornaments and then we get to decorate them. I am going to use our die cut pack for Merry Little Christmas because we've got lots of little tiny bits just cut out so perfectly. But I'll be back with you guys in a second for that. So I am just going through this little pack of goodness and finding little pretty things that will work. I love this little sled with the little fella. Look at his, look at his little shorts. He's so cute, he's a gingerbread man. I've got this beautiful deer with a bunch of gifts going. I love this large, I think it's a hot cocoa with a cute little gingerbread house touch on it. So I'm just layering up whatever I think will work. Now, if I don't have enough in here, I'll take a look in here at the little die cuts. But for now, this is where we're going with it. All right, so I just finished up my cute little ornaments and I think they're so lovely. I did pick up some clear fishing line that I'll be able to use. See how I have these little tiny bits right here? I'll just poke a hole and get the fishing line through so it doesn't take away from how pretty they are. And I told you guys, mm -hmm. the back has another pattern. And here we have our little gingerbread man with a giant cup of cocoa and a nice red background. A beautifully simple one with sparkly bits, a poinsettia and a cardinal. Here we have another cardinal and a bow. So lots of nice dimension, but it won't be too heavy to hang, which is something I was very concerned about. I don't like it when my ornaments are dragging the whole tree down. And then I have a bigger gingerbread man and his little sleigh. And there we go. That is this project done. A couple still shots were in the beginning of this video. And that's what I have for you guys today. Come back ever so soon. I'll be back with another video. Bye for now, friends.